October may be coming to an end in just a few days, but we're not done recognizing Breast Cancer Awareness Month here at Fox 5. For many women, discovering the cancer can lead to not only harsh treatments, but also losing one or both breasts. Our own Aisha Khan has been sharing her experience with the disease and is live in our Fox 5 studios diving into care after breast cancer. Good morning, Aisha. Hey there, good morning to you, Maureen. You know, uh, the care for a lot of women, um, especially who have gone through breast cancer or cancer in general, um, you know, there's a lot of concern about beauty and how we look afterwards. Uh, and that's something that, you know, if even I've been struggling with, but I am getting there, as you can see with my hair extensions now. Uh, but it goes beyond that. Uh, I'm gonna be looking into nipple tattooing once I get through my uh, reconstruction surgery. And to talk to me a little bit more about that, Elizette Alvarado, she is is with uh, Beauty RX, make sure I'm Epic Beauty RX. Yes, I want to make sure I say that correctly. You've got a whole layout over here. Um, talk to me about nipple tattooing because, Lizette, I feel like a lot of people may not be familiar with it. Um, how does it work um, for someone who's never gotten a tattoo ever in her life? Um, this would be something you know interesting to try or you know to do. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, so it's a paramedical tattooing. At the the nipple tattooing has a lot to do with restoring the breast after a mastectomy or other breast reconstructive surgeries. A lot of times, you know, women may lose the areola and nipple area, and they will actually uh, have like blank breasts when mm -hmm. the doctor cannot save the nipple and areola. So it will typically look like this uh, with additional scarring. So when they come in to get nipple tattooing, I basically do some mapping, which I recreate the areola and I repigment the skin with this nipple tattoo machine. It's a digital device That's where I uh, color match them. Mm -hmm. So here are the different colors that we have and everyone's skin tone is different. So I basically try to recreate the nipple and areola that they once had so that they can feel restored again. And then, it, you know, it's a definitely, uh, basically just color matching the area and then uh, doing the reconstructive and nipple tattooing along with scar camouflaging. Yeah. Um, you also do some other things, you know, because I learned during cancer, even you know, from my personal experience, lost my eyelashes, I lost my eyebrows, um, but you do a lot of that uh, beauty care as well. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so the eyelash extensions are very popular, not just for women who have uh, very little lashes, um, but it's also, you know, we want to wake up feeling like, you know, we can just wake up and uh, feeling kind of like with our open eyes and we tried to do our best mm -hmm. to eliminate all the extra makeup because we okay. live a fast, busy life and this is a great way to do it. So these are, when I teach the classes, this is simply the mannequin that we use. As you can see, these are the lashes and these are the various type of eyelash extensions. So eyelash these are extensions. different than lash strips. Mm -hmm. These eyelash extensions are faux mink and they are very, very, very uh, kind of mimic the natural eyelash. So what I do is I basically just kind of take a kind of little piece, and this is like a 3D, 3D 70 3D type of lash. They're super nice fibers. And then I pick them up like that, and then I attach them to each single one of these eyelashes. So they basically go on each single lash so that you can wake up. They last um, up to two months with That's refills amazing. needed every two to three weeks, just like the nails grow out. Same We've with the We've got lashes. less than 30 seconds. So I know you, want, you wanted to show going back to the nipple tattooing. We'll talk a little bit more about that coming up in our 8.30 hour, Maureen. She's going to kind of show us an example of how she does the nipple tattooing. But Lizette, stick around. You guys stick around as well. We'll be right back. All right, thank you for that. I know I've got questions. Does it hurt? I know so many people out there have those <laughs> questions, but we'll definitely check in with yeah. you in the 8.30 hour. That it was uh, Lizette Alvarado talking about uh, feeling good mm -hmm. as part of uh, you know, your health and breast care. So thank you both for that, Aisha, for sharing your story as well.